Hi, this is Brian Teets with a Veterans Fence Company here in Southeastern Michigan. And I'm here today to talk about chain link fencing, what you should and should not buy when you're going out to purchase a chain link fence for your home or for your business. A uh, chain link fence comes in different types of qualities in thickness and diameter. If you're looking for a nice backyard fence to keep your dog in, keep the kids out of harm's way, you might want to go with like a four foot high residential grade fence. And that can come in a variety of different colors and thickness walls and sizes, which I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, the most common size chain link fence is the galvanized, or you could say the silver chain link fence, usually in a four foot high, which comes in like an 11 gauge wire, which is a real toughness to keep predators out, animals, and keep your kids in. Uh, a residential chain link fence can also come in different colors. It's called a vinyl coated system, which comes in black, brown, and green. Awesome looking for the backyard. We have colors that will match your house, your siding, your roof, whatever you want to make look nice to your house, we have that available for you in chain link fencing. So residential consumers out there today, be aware that there are different types of chain link fence that you can go with. And also when you're choosing the type of post you're going to go with, you want to make sure you choose a thick enough wall that will be strong enough to uh, handle the harsh Michigan winters. Uh, the, the thickness of the pipe comes in from a light 065 gauge all the way up to a schedule 40 and you always want to ask your contractor what thickness are you going to uh, offer them when it comes to the, uh, the post or the top rail because sometimes a lot of guys might give you a really low price but you're really not getting the type of quality you're looking for. I mean your fence might blow over for heaven's sakes within a two or three year period so it might be better off to pay a little bit more money for a thicker walled post or top rail so your fence will last you a long time. Uh, for our chain link consumers who might want to go the commercial route uh, a lot of people put a fence around their commercial business, uh, they might have security issues, and chain link commercial fence comes in different heights of 5, 6 foot, 8 foot, and 10 foot. And uh, that is, if you want to go 6 or 8 foot, that'll definitely keep out anybody you're trying to keep out. And that comes in different gauges also. Uh, commercial grade fencing usually typically is a 9 gauge wire. Uh, sometimes you can bump it up to 6 gauge if you're building like a, a baseball backstop or a, a prison fence, something like that. But uh, and from a commercial concept or aspect, commercial fence comes in every height, it comes in different colors, it comes in barbed wire, it comes in razor wire. Uh, us fence contractors have application that will fit your purpose for every need. Uh, also chain link comes in gates, it comes in slide gates, it comes in pretty much every kind of application you'd ever ask for. Uh, my company Veterans Fence has been uh, building fence in the southeastern Michigan area for over 40 years, family owned and operated. Uh, when you call us at our phone number, 313-381-8530, uh, you'll probably either see me in person or my father, Jim Teeth, who's been in the business for over 40 years. So once again, thanks for stopping in. I hope I can answer all your questions about chain link fencing. Once again, my name is Brian Teeth, Veterans Fence. Uh, you can reach us at www.veteransfence.com or email me personally, brian at veteransfence.com. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. I hope I cleared up any advice or ideas you might have about chain link fencing.